Hey, good morning. Welcome to our uh, morning experience with the Word of God. We are in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, today, verses 3 and 4. Jesus has just been sent into the wilderness for a remarkable test, uh, and, and God the Father did it. God sent him there. Now, let's look at this test. He hasn't eaten for 40 days, and here we read this. This is the first of the three temptations you might have heard about. Let's listen. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. But Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So Jesus, after he's been 40 days in the wilderness, he's, he's, he's emaciated, he, he's not eaten for 40 days, he's been fasting, but he's been praying to his father. He's, he's closely communing with him, but now here comes Satan. He comes there, he has a question for Jesus. If you are the son of God, if, and that's really one of the ways the devil, he, he usually, he's always very subtle. He comes, he doesn't come straight at you, but he'll come with an if, he'll come with a question, and he he's questioning Jesus who he is. Now, of course, if Jesus just uh, comes out and just just shows, uses his divine power and just does stuff, he'll, he won't be able to be an example for us, will he? Because when I'm hungry, I cannot go outside and turn stones into bread. I don't have that power innately within me. Jesus had that power as his by right. He's God, but he laid that power aside. Philippians chapter 2 tells us he's still God. He's fully God, but he's, he's laid aside those divine powers. He's trusted them to the Father, and now he is uh, just in a situation like you or I, trusting in the Father. So the devil is trying to break that. If you were the Son of God, that's the subtle insinuation. Maybe you're not who you think you are. You better prove it. Prove it to me. And devil's first plan here is to get Jesus to uh, destroy, spoil his example for us. So anyway, he, he makes that question. Jesus' response, as we saw, was, it is written. It is written. It is written is always a good response. As long as you're properly applying the scriptures to your case, whatever your situation is, come to the Bible. Go from the Bible. Always begin with the Bible. And so Jesus responds, man shall not live by bread alone. Yes, I haven't eaten for 40 days, and, and bread sort of is kind of on my mind. You know, food is on my mind. This isn't about food because, you see, the Father has not released me yet to begin eating. I'm, I'm in a communion with the Father. And so, no, I'm not going to just, uh, just make this uh, miracle for you. I don't have anything to prove to you. God the Father has is all that I need. And so Jesus will not be tested there, but he, he will not falter in the test. He says, I'm going to live by every command, every word of God. Now, here's another thing that's interesting, and we'll see this in the others. Jesus is in the wilderness. Well, can you think of anything else that happened in the wilderness that was a major spiritual test, and maybe that God's people failed it dramatically? Well, when they came out from Egypt, they went into the uh, wilderness, and they failed there. They failed, and they spent 40-some years there in the wilderness before God brought them into the land, and many never even made it, because they that's a whole other set of stories. But uh, the people basically failed the test. Jesus identifies himself with Israel. All his answers in these three are going to be from the experience of Israel in the wilderness. I don't know if you knew that. Jesus is going to identify himself with them only where Israel failed first time, failed the second test, failed the third test that are going to be outlined here. Jesus passes number one, passes number two, passes number three. So Jesus, very interesting how he reaches back to that. We'll say more about that the next couple of mornings. Anyway, for now, there is a word for you and I. We will not just live by the material things that we see. We must live by this word. This is our hope. And now we must pray. Let's pause. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for the word of God. This is the equipment for life. And so now bless us, Lord. Help us to be true to your word basic instructions before leaving earth. Somebody said that's what Bible stands for, and it's fun, a fun little thing, but it's true. Thank you for your basic instructions. Bless today, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may God bless you today as you are preparing to leave earth. Let's be in the word first. God bless you.